All right. Part four. Okay, so it's time to introduce you to this diagram that I've been using in my introductory sequence. So here it is. We're just going to go over it one section at a time, and we'll start with the title, I suppose. Uh, it's a dual decimal diagram, otherwise known as a decimal system, base 12 math. So for this particular diagram, I've gone all in on the base 12 element. So all of the degrees, every, all the numbers are in base 12, although I have written some of the base 10 versions of the numbers in red. So when you see a red number, it's pretty obvious, base 10, base 12. But other than that, it's all in base 12. So you see some A's and um, there's a B here, you know, just as unusual. And you go, like here you're counting 66, 69, and then three more to 70, 73, and 76. So our 90 degree angle is, is 76 degrees in base 12. Here is our our uh, 75 is 63 and then 50 50 is our 60 i don't know if you can see the 39 here no that's our 45 degrees so things are a little bit different but again i'll be going over it all e um, make sure it's easy for you it's actually very simple and this is the down here is the first ring second third ring fourth the fifth ring so let's just look at that for a minute. The fifth ring, as I was saying, each of these circles here is gonna divide that degree section up into four. So the fifth ring is gonna be five um, times four. Five of these, one, two, three, four, five, will be in between each 30 degree section. So this is a 15 degree section here. So this is a 30 degree section here. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five. So five times four is 20. So a 30 degree section divided up by 20 is one and a half or 1.5. So you can see that here from this, say the 70 to this line here in the center of that circle is one and a half degrees. So that's 71 and a half. Then another one and a half will be 73, 74 and a half and 76 for our 90. So that's that's how that works. And this is get five rings and then here's three and then a half and a half. So you can see that there's a sort of a staggering effect as we go from ring to ring to ring. Here there's three rings. And again, what we're gonna do, actually I just wanted to show you that. I think I'll, I'll switch now to the board underneath and we'll look at the X axis and then just work our way across. So we can go over the pattern and go over the math over each with each ring. And uh, basically, it's the first few that really establish the pattern. And we'll, you'll see quite quickly, we get a lot of the degree lines that we want for our end result of a complete 360 degrees, because we want even numbers, basically, for that last ring. A lot of the times, we're working in fractions and thirds and sixths and ninths. And you know, on the seventh ring, everything has you know repeating decimals. So not it's not like a steady progression of... 30 degrees, 29 degrees, 28 or something like that, where you're dividing things up, it's actually quite broken up. And again, we'll see right now how the first five rings really do establish, like you can see this one, it's a lot of even numbers. So the third ring, you know, gives us a lot of the numbers that we're looking for. The fifth ring gives us a lot. And then I'll show you the process that we use to calculate the next degree lines when we're dividing these up. We're working off the degree lines that are generated in the rings before. And then what do we do to fill in the blanks, so to speak? Okay, so now I'll go to the, uh, the board underneath. We'll take a closer look at the second ring in the series of uh, rings that we need to calculate the diagram for 360 degrees. Okay, so here's the board underneath the one we were just looking at. Um, like you can see up here, I've got the formula for calculating the interior angles of the polygon. There's the formula. The 130 is the base 12 version, 180 for the base 10, again in red. Here it is all the degree sections. You can see, you know, what, what the base 10 version, or, you know, what we're used to. 15, 30, 45, 90, 180, 360, and then the base 12 version of the same degrees. And so this is that same circle. And again, the scale of this whole diagram is the same as what we've been looking at for the graph paper. 
So these squares here are you know, 12 by 12 of those little squares, and the scale is in inches and feet. So just thought I'd mention that for anyone who's wondering. So the, each little square on the graph paper is one quarter of an inch. So there's you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, B, 10. So each of these squares is three inches by three inches as far as the size goes. So this is the first thing that we were already looking at. You can see again, here's the 165 for the angle inside, 119 and base 12. And here's our, our first 30 degree section. We've got one ring. Then you can see the next ring we've got, we're always gonna be working off of the 30 degree line each time this ring is sitting solidly like right on that line. And then on the, the, on the other side, we have like half a ring on either side. Then the next ring, it's three. And so there's that sort of, again, staggered effect in terms of the pattern as it goes along. So that's always the first, the first steps in the, in, the, in the process of creating the next rings. Here, the radius of the inner circle, the actual ring that we're working on is 3.2 root two but here it's 6.4 root two. So that we're, we're going in sections of 3.2. And then we, then we add the 0.5 root two. Do I do that in here? Yeah, we go, we're adding the square root of 0.42 and that gives us our, you know, so 6.4 root two is 68.28, square root of 68.28. And then when we add 0.4, square root of 0.42, we get 68.68. So that's the radius of the second circle. So we always, the first step in each ring is to draw those two circles and those are the ones we're gonna be working off of. And then we draw our, our two circles on either side. I've coined a term called twinning the degree line, which is where we put the compass down, we set it to 0.5 root two, we make our points on the outside line and then we adjust it to 0.49 root two, and then we put on the put the point on the point of the compass on the point of the that we just made on the outside ring, and draw these circles. So we have those established. The 45 degree line they're established, and then we're gonna then we start to fill in the blanks. And on the second ring, it's very easy because we're still working off of all of the lines that we generated from our initial sort of uh, star pattern here. So. Second ring, very easy. We just were sort of twinning again, you know, the, the X axis, the 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, very easy. And we get all of our, our degree lines that way. And here's the seven and a half degree line. You can see it goes through and we'll be looking at that one. You can just see it over there. Actually, I can just turn this a little bit so you can see that next, next um, angle, next ring clearer. You can see this, the pattern for the seven and a half degree line, is it goes between two circles and then it has a circle right on it. And it goes between two circles and then a circle right on it. So that's the pattern for the, that degree line. And then what it, it's just a matter of going along and again, drawing the ones that are obvious first and then filling in the blanks. So this is, and then you can see also now I'm drawing a line going through this way, the circumference of the circle. So that's something else that I'll be addressing in the later video. So I actually think that might be enough for this video. This is an overview of what we're gonna be doing and now we're just gonna continue ring to ring. So that's the second ring, 6.4 root two. And then the gap between the two rings that we draw initially is closer to get, is closer. Here, the gap between them is 0 0.0569. So very small gap. And here is 0 0.0296. So again, even smaller. That's just looking at the x-axis where those two lines fall. So 0 0.005 and 0 0.02. That's a very small gap in inside of one of the little squares on the x-axis. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. I hope you can join me for the next one where we're going to go to the third uh, degree line and just continue working our way down until we get to the finished result of 360 degrees. So I hope you can, yeah, join me for that. Thanks for watching.